Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we deep dive into the vast ocean of English literature. And before we start our today's very important session, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much friends. It's been only three days. I have shared my number in the description and I'm deeply grateful for the overwhelming response I have received in just three days. With so many of you reaching out for the study material, I apologize for the wait but they will be available on 1st of September. It's under printing. And sorry for the students who disappointed after hearing its paid notes. Friends, it's paid because I poured my heart and soul into creating these notes. I genuinely believe they are key to success. When you use them, you won't need to write any extra notes. It's truly investment in your future. And my friends who don't know about this, I'll tell you. Friends, if you are preparing for the UG Senate English December 2024 and feeling lost, don't hesitate to WhatsApp me at the number in the description. These booklets are meticulously organized, covering the entire syllabus in chronological order. They are crafted based on the detailed analysis of previous year's questions to give you the best possible preparation. And in the final 20 to 30 pages, I have included a concise chronology of important writers, literary theories and literary moments. This summary covers all the key chronology topics frequently asked in the UGC NET English exam, allowing you to quickly review before your examination. Now let's start today's session. Today we are taking a chronological journey through British literature, covering some of the most important periods and writers and their works. Understanding these timelines is a crucial for any serious student of literature. So let's get started. Our journey begins with the Old English period, also known as the Anglo-Saxon period, which spanned from 450 to 1066. This era is marked by the emergence of heroic poetry, such as the epic Beowulf. The language was a precursor to modern English. And the literature of this time was characterized by a strong emphasis on themes of heroism, loyalty and the struggle between good and evil. Now let's see important poets and their work from this period. First is Beowulf poet and his important work is Beowulf. Next is Bede. Important work is the ecclesiastical history of the English people. Next is Cadman. Important work is Cadman's hymn, paraphrase and Judith. Next is Sangwulf, 18th, 8th century. And works are The Christ, Juliana, the Fates of the Apostles, Alien, Unsigned Poems, The Phoenix, Andres, The Dream of the Road. Next is King Alfred the Great, 400, 4, 448 to 901. Works and translations are Soliloquies of St. Augustine, Orosis, Universal History and Geography, Bede's History, Pastoral Care, Boethics, Consolations of Philosophy Moving for, forward, we enter the Anglo-Norman period from 1066 to 1350. This era followed the Norman conquest of England, bringing significant changes to the language and literature. The introduction of French influence led to the creation of works like the Song of the Roland, the literature of this time began to reflect a more chivalric tone with a focus on a courtly love and the deeds of knights. Now let's see the famous poet, writer and their important works. First is Geoffrey of Monmouth. An important work is Historia Regum Brittany, the history of the kings of Britain, 1136. Next is Lemon. Important work is Brood. Next, we come to the age of Chaucer from 1350 to 1400. This period is named after Geoffrey Chaucer, often called the father of English literature. His famous work, The Canterbury Tales, it's, it is a vivid portrayal of 
English society. At the time, at the time Chaucer's use, the vernacular Middle English was a revolutionary, making literature more accessible to the common people. Now let's see famous poet writer from this age. First is John Mandeville, thirteen hundred and thirteen hundred to thirteen hundred and seventy one. An important work is the Travels of a Sir John Mandeville. Next is John Wycliffe, thirteen hundred twenty four. To thirteen hundred and eighty-four, important work is various theological writings and translation of the Bible into Middle English. Next is John Gower, thirteen hundred and thirty to thirteen hundred and seventy-one. Important work Confessio Amantis. Next is William Langland, thirteen hundred and thirty-two, and not sure about his death. Important work is Piers Plowman. Next is Geoffrey Chaucer. Not sure about his birth, but he died in fourteen hundred. Important work is the Canterbury Tales. Friends, simultaneously we see the beginning of the revival of learning, stretching from fourteen hundred to fourteen hundred fifteen hundred and fifty. This period, overlapping with the age of Chaucer, marked the transition from the medieval to the Renaissance mindset. The literature became more focused on humanism. As scholars begins to rediscover the classical text of Greece and Rome, Sir Thomas More's Utopia, Utopia is a notable work from this time, reflecting the era's intellectual spirit. Now let's see the important writers and their works. First is Erasmus, fourteen hundred and sixty-nine to fifteen hundred and thirty-six. An important work is In Praise of Folly. Fifteen hundred and eleven. Next is Thomas More, and his important work is Utopia. Next is Thomas Watt, Songs of Sonnets. Next is Roger Ascham, and his important work is The Schoolmaster. Next is Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, and important works are The Sooth Season, translation of parts of Virg Vir Virgil's Aeneid. Next is Richard Total. Important work is Anthology and Total's Miscellany. Then we enter the age of Elizabeth from fifteen hundred and fifty to sixteen hundred and twenty, which is often considered the golden age of English literature. This period is dominated by the works of William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, and Edmund Spenser. The drama flourished with the public flocking or to the theatres. Shakespeare's plays such as Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet and Spenser's The Fairy Queen remain pillars of English literature to this day. Now let's see the important poet and writers and essays and dramatists of this age. Friends please write down the chronology. First is Thomas Sackville an important work is Gobodok. Next is Edmund Spenser important work is The Fairy Queen. Next is Philip Sidney. Important work is Astrophel and Stella. Next is George Chapman. Important work is the Iliad and the Odyssey translation. Next is the Michael Drayton. Important work is a Poly Albion. Now let's see the dramatist dramatist of this age. First is John Lilly. Important work is Euphues, the Autonomy of Wit. Next is import. Thomas Lodge important work is Rosalind next is George Peel the arrangement of paris next is James Shirley important work is the cardinal next is Thomas Kidd the spanish tragedy next is Robert Greene Pandosto next is Christopher Marlowe Dr Faustus Next is William Shakespeare, Hamlet. Next is Thomas Nash, The Unfortunate Traveller. Next is Thomas Hayward. Important work is a, a woman killed with a kindness. Next is Thomas Dekker. Important work is The Shoemaker's Holiday. Next is Ben Jonson. An important work is a Walpole. Next is John Webster's. Important work is the Duchess of Malfi. 
Next is Beaumont and Fletcher. Important work is the Maid's Tragedy. Next is Thomas Middleton. Important work is Changeling. Next is Philip Massinger. Important work is A New Way to Pay Old Debts. Next is John Ford. Important work is Tis Pity She is a Whore. Now let's see the essayist of this age. First is John Knox. Important work is The First Blast of the Trumpet Against the Monstrous Regiment of Women, 1558. Next is John Fox. Important work is Fox Books of Martyr. Next is Thomas North. Important work is The Lives of the Noble Gratian and Romans. Next is William Camden and his important work is Britannia. Next is Reacher Hackluet. Important work is The Principal Navigation, Voyages, Traffickers and Discoveries of the English Nation. Next is Reacher Hooker. Important work is of the laws of ecclesiastical polity. Next is Samuel Purchase. Important work is a purchase his pilgrim. Next is Francis Bacon. Important work is essays. 1597. Next is the Puritan Age. Also known as the Age of Milton. Spanning from 1620 to 1660. The literature of this period was heavily influenced by the religious and moral themes, reflecting the Puritan worldview. John Milton's Paradise Lost is the crowling achievement of this era, depicting the biblical story of the fall of the man with the unparalleled depth and complexity. Now let's see important writers from this age. First is Robert Burton. Important work is The Anatomy of Melancholy. Next is Isaac Walton. Important work is The Complete Angler. Next is Thomas Brownie. Important work is Religio Medici. Next is John Milton. Important work is Paradise Lost. Next is Jeremy Taylor. Important work is Holy Living and Holy Dying. Next is Richard Baxter's. Important work is the saint's everlasting rates. Next is John Bunyan. Important work is the Pil Pilgrim of Progress. Next is Thomas Otway. When is per preserved? Next is the Nathalie Lee. Important work is the rival queens. Next is William Congreve. Important work is The Way of the World, 1700. Next is Thomas Fuller and his important work is The History of the Worthies of England. Following the Puritan age, we enter the Restoration period from 1660 to 1700. With the restoration of monarchy, literature began to reflect the changing social and political landscape. Theatres reopen and comedy become the dominant genre. Writers like John Dryden and William Congreve emerge with the Dryden's Astralem and Achutophel standing out as significant work of the political satire. Now let's see important writers and poets. First is John Evelyn. Important works are Diary, and fuming fugim. Next is John Dryden. Important works are Absol Absalom and Achutophel, 1681. Next is Mac Flacknoy, 1682. Next is Samuel Pepe. Samuel Pepe's diary is his important work and Naval Minutes, published posthumously. Next is Jeremy Collier. A short view of the immortality and profaneness of the English stage. 1698. 18th century known as the Augustan age, from the 1700 to 1800, saw literature become more refined and polished, emulating the classical ideals of the 
ancient Rome. This period was marked by the rise of satire with writers like Alexander Pope and Jonathan Swift. Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock and Swift's Gulliver Travel, quintessential work of this era, blending with a wit with a social commentary. Now let's see the important writers from this age. First is Daniel Defoe and his important works are Robinson Crusoe 1719. Next is Maul Flanders 1722. Next is Alexander Pope. Important works are The Rape of the Log 1712 and Essay on Criticism 1711. Next is Jonathan Swift and his important work are Gulliver's Travel 1726, A Modest Proposal 1729. Next is Richard Steele. An important work is The Tatler 1709 to 1711. Next is Joseph Addison, The Spectator 1711 to 1712. Next is James Thompson. An important work is the season 1730. Next is Henry Fielding. His important work is Tom Jones 1749. Next is Samuel Johnson, a dictionary of the English language 1755 and the lives of the poets 1779 to 1781. Next is Lawrence Run, Tristan Shandy. 1759 to 1767. Next is Thomas Gray. Important work is The Elijah Written in Country Churchyard, 1751. Next is Horace Walpole. Important work is The Crash, The Castle of Otranto, 1764. Next is William Collins. Important work is Ode to Evening, 1746. Next is Oliver Goldsmith and his important works are The Vicar of Wakefield, 1766, She Stoops to Conquer, 1773. Next important writer is Thomas Percy. Important works work is Reliquy of Ancient English Poetry, 1765. Next is William Cooper. An important work is The Task, 1785. Next is Edward Gibbon. Important work is The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, 1776 to 1788. Next is James Boswell. Important work is The Life of Samuel Johnson, 1791. Next is William Godwin. Important work is The Caleb Williams, 1794. Next is William Blake. Important work is Songs of Innocence and Experience, 1794. Next is Richard Sheridan, The School for Scandal, 1777. Next is Robert Burns, Poem Chiefly in the Scottish of a Dialect, 1786. Next is Anne Radcliffe, The Mysteries of Udolpho, 1794. Moving into the Romantic Age from 1798 to 1850, literature took a turn towards emotion, nature and the sublime. This period is marked by the works of poets like William Wordsworth, Estee Coleridge and John Keats. The Romantic poets sought to express the beauty of nature and the depth of human emotion reaching against the industrialization and rationalism of the previous era. Now let's see the important writers and their works. First is William Wordsworth. Important works are Lyrical Ballads 1798 and The Prelude 1850. Next is Sir Walter Scott. Important works are Beverly 1840, Ivanhoe, 1820. Next is Estrie Coleridge. 
important works are the rhyme of the ancient mariner 1798 kubla khan 1816 next is charles lamb's essays of elia 1823 Next is Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice 1813 Emma 1815 Next important writer is George Gordon that is Lord Byron Important works are A Child Harold's Pilgrimage 1812 to 1818 Next is John Don Juan 1819 to 1824 Next is Thomas Love Peacock. Important work is Nightmare Abbey 1818. Next is Thomas De Quincey. Important work is Confession of an English Opium Eater 1821. Next important writer poet is Percy Bysshe Shelley. Important works are Ode to the West, West Wind 1820 Prometheus Unbound 1820 Next is John Keats Important works are Ode to Nightingale 1819 Autumn sorry to Autumn 1820 Following the romantics we enter the Victorian age from 1850 to 1900 which was a time of a great social change The literature of this era often explores the struggles of the individual against society. Novelists like Charles Dickens and Thomas Hardy dominated this dominated this period. Dickens' great expectation and Hardy's tests of the devils are perfect examples of Victorian literature. Victorian literature focus on social issues and moral dilemmas. Now let's see important writers poets from this age. First is Thomas Carlyle. Important work is Sartre, Resartus, 1836. Next is The French Revolution, A History, 1837. Next important writer is Thomas Babington Macaulay. And important works are History of England, 1848 to 1855. Lays of Ancient Rome, eighteen hundred and forty-two. Next is John Henry Newman. Important works are Apologia Pro Vita Sue, eighteen hundred and sixty-four. The Idea of the University of a University, eighteen hundred and fifty-two. Next is Elizabeth Browning. Important works are Sonnets from the Post Portuguese and Aurora. Next is Charles Darwin. Darwin. Important works are On the Origin of Species, eighteen hundred and fifty-nine. The Sin, The Descent of Man, eighteen hundred and seventy-one. Next is Alfred Tennyson, In Mem- Memoriam, A H H. Next is The Charge of the Light Brigade. Next is Mrs. Gaskell. Important works are North and South, eighteen hundred and fifty-five. Cranford 1851 to 1853 Next is William Macbeth Thackeray and important works are Vanity Fair and the History of Henry Esmond Next is Mandry and Evans that is George Eliot important works are Middlemarch The Mill on the Floss Next is Charles Dickens important works are The Great Expe- Expectations and A Tale of Two Cities Next is Robert Browning important works are The Ring and the Book The, the La- My Last Duchess Next is Charles Read important work is The Cloister and the Hearth Next is Anthony Trollope important works are The Chronicles of Bell's Bell's Shire series. Next is the Palliser novels series. Next is Charlotte Bronte. Important works are Jane Eyre, eighteen hundred and forty-seven. Villiers, eighteen hundred and fifty-seven. Next is Emily Bronte. Important work is Wuthering Heights. 
Next is John Ruskin. Important works are Modern Print Painters, 1843 to 1860, and The Stone of Venice, 1851 to 1853. Next is Matthew Arnold. Important works are The Culture and Anarchy, 1869, and Dover Beach, 1867. Next important writer is Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Important works are Goblin Market and The House of the Life. Next is William Morris. Important works are The Earthly Paradise and News from Nowhere. Next is Thomas Hardy. Important work is Tess of the Double Wills, 1891 and Far from the Madding Crown, 1874. Next is John Abilding Simons. Important works are Renissa in Italy series, 1875 to 1886. And Studies of the Greek Poets, 1873. As we move into the 20th century, we encounter the age of modernism. From 1900 to 1939, this period was marked by the break from traditional forms and the exploration of new techniques and themes. Writers like James Joyce and Virginia Woolf revolutionized literature with the works like Ulysses and Mrs. Rollway. The modernists sought to capture the fragmented reality of the modern world. Now let's see important works and writers from this age. First is G.B. Shaw. Important works are Pig Billion, 1913, Man, of, Man and Superman, 1903. Next is W.B. Eats. Important work is The Tower, 1928, and The Second Coming, 1920. Next is Joseph Conrad. A Heart of Darkness, 1899, and Lord Jim, 1900. Next is James M. Barry. Important works are Peter Pan, 1904, and the Admiral Christone, 1902. Next is Rudyard Kipling. Important works are The Jungle Book, 1894, and Kim, 1901. Next is H. G. Wells. Important works are The War of the Worlds, 1898 and The Time Virgin, 1895. Next is John Galsworthy. Important works are The Fosfate Saga, 1901 to 1921 and The Justice, 1910. Next is Arnold Bennett. Important works are The Old Wives Tale, 1908, Clayhanger, 1910. Next is J. M. Sinji. Important works are The Playboy of the Western World, 1907, Riders to the Sea, 1904. Next is James Joyce. Important works are Ulysses, 1922, a Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, 1916. Next is Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dolloway, 1925 to The Lighthouse, 1927. Next is G. D. H. Lawrence, Son and Sons and Lovers, 1913, Lady Chatterley's Lover, 1928. Next is George Orwell, 1984. 1949 Animal Farm 1945 Finally we reach the postmodern literature period from 1939 to the present day this era is characterized by further questioning of narrative and the embrace of ambiguity postmodern writers like Anthony Powell Christopher Fry Evelyn Waugh with their works challenge reader to rethink and the very nature of literature and reality now let's see important writers and their works lugi pirandlu important works are six characters in search of an author 
1921 next is henry ford 1922 bertolt brecht his important works are mother courage and her children 1941 next is the three penny opera 1928 Next is Evelyn Waugh. Important works are Bright Sheet Revisited, nineteen hundred and forty-five; A Handful of Dust, nine hundred nineteen hundred and thirty-four. Next is Graham Greene. Important works are The Power and the Glory, nineteen hundred and forty; The Heart of the Matter, nineteen hundred and forty-eight. Next is C. P. Snow. Important works are Stranger and Brothers, nineteen hundred and forty to nineteen hundred and seventy. The Masters, nineteen hundred and fifty-one. Next is Anthony Powell. Powell. Important works are A Dance to the Music of Time, nineteen hundred and fifty-one to nineteen hundred and seventy-five. Afternoon Men, nineteen hundred and thirty-one. Next is Christopher Fry. Important works are The Lady, Ladies Not for Burning, nineteen hundred and forty-eight. Venus Observed, nineteen hundred and fifteen. Next is Angus Wilson. Important works are Anglo-S- Anglo-Saxon Attitudes, nineteen hundred and fifty-six. No Laughing Ma- Matter, nineteen hundred and sixty-seven. Next is John Masters. Important works are Bowani Junction, nineteen hundred and fifty-four. Next is Night Runners of Bengal, nineteen nineteen hundred and fifty-one. Next is John Whiting. Important works are Sense Day, nineteen hundred and fifty-one; The Devils, nineteen hundred and sixty-one. Next is Paul Scott. Important works are The Raj Quartet, nineteen sixty-six to nineteen seventy-five. Next is Staying On, nineteen seventy-seven. Next is William Gaddis. Important works are The Recognition, nineteen hundred and fifty-five; J. R. nineteen hundred and seventy-five. Next is Kurt Vonnegut. Important works are Slaughter House House Five, nineteen sixty nine; Cat's Cradle, nineteen sixty three. Next is Philip Larkin. Important works are The Witness Wedding, nineteen sixty four; High Windows, nineteen seventy four. Next is Joseph Heller. Important works are Cash Twenty Two, nineteen sixty one; Something Happened, nineteen seventy four. Next is Harold Pinter. Important works are The Birthday Party, nineteen hundred and fifty-seven; The Homecoming, nineteen sixty-four. Next is John Bath. Important works are The Salt Weed Factor, nineteen sixty; Lost in the Fan Fun House, nineteen sixty-eight. Next is Julian Barnes. Important works are Flowers Parrot, nineteen eighty-four; The Sense of an Ending, two thousand and eleven. and that brings us to the end of our journey through the chronology of british literature understanding these periods and their key characters is essential for mastering the ug senate english exam if you found this session helpful please like share and subscribe for more content on english literature keep studying and remember every great writer as a students like us thank you for watching all the best for your examination and see you in the next video thank you so much